hey, did you know that you can add some text into Canvas? Let's try that as well. So again, taking our CTX object and we can use fill text. And what this is doing is this is expecting some parameters. So if, for instance, we want to set up a variable and we can just call it string. So this will be the text that we're outputting. And you can also keep it within that fill text object as well if you want to. So the string that we want to pass in, and it's expecting the X and Y position again. So always think back to the grid. And if you had a pen or a pencil, you where you would position it and where you want the text to start writing out. So for instance, if we want to do 20, 20, so as an X and a Y, 20, you can see that it writes out hello world nice and neatly within 2020. Of course, there's more options that you can do. Let's say, for instance, you want to update the size of the text. So you can do CTX and selecting font. So it's expecting a string output and the string that's expecting, it's going to expect the size and the type of font. So let's take 24 picks and then it's expecting the type of font. So you can use any one of the web fonts. So if I used Arial there, and I think there's a few other ones that can work as well. So if you wanted fantasy, you can see that that just changes the type of font that's being output. You also have another option as well, and you can do a CTX and a stroke. So just as we saw with the, or the stroke text, so just as we saw with the different stroke colors, we can do this as well. So taking that same string value, and let's move this one down a bit. We'll start it at 20 as well, and setting the Y position to 60, you can see that it looks slightly different because this is just getting the outline of that content. So now it's up to you. Go ahead, try this out yourself as well. Add some text into your canvas.